guys. Today we're going to be installing a fueling cam on my 2021 Rogue Line. Woo! Sorry, I had to. Nice. Just like a glove. I said, you're welcome for the shirt. <laughs> this is why I love coming here, man. What is he doing now? Um, installing a new cam bearing. We removed the old stock cam bearing, put the new one in. It comes with the uh, fueling kit. That's the bearing right there, right? Mm -hmm. You just input it? Okay. You see the space between the needles? Uh-huh. Okay, look at the one that's in here now. Oh, okay. There's more rollers in there, it's a better bearing. Difference between stock and aftermarket. All right guys, so today is the day we're here at the Tour Custom Cycle Shop. We're gonna be installing the brand new fueling 465 cam on my 2021 Rogue Glide. And um, my friend right here, Mike, is gonna be installing everything. We'll say hi to the camera, man. <laughs> the other Mike. <laughs> So as you guys know, I already did have the Screaming Eagle cam in this. Um, obviously I wanted a bit more performance. I uh, want my bike to sound a lot better. Um, and we're, we're, we're just gonna try to make this bike into what it should be. Um, so we got the numbers. Mike ran it on the dyno. So we got the base run with the uh, Screaming Eagle cam. Afterwards when this is installed, we'll do that run as well so we can compare the numbers and see what the big difference is. Alright, so now that we got the uh, oil pump in, uh, anything we should know when uh, inputting the oil pump, if anything? Yeah, the biggest thing uh, with putting the oil pump in is we did it already, but there is a large O-ring at the base on the left hand side of the oil pump. Um, if you don't put the oil pump in properly, uh, that O-ring can tear. That O-ring tears, that's where you're going to get all of your sumping issues from. Gotcha. So, it will sump. Now you put it in the cam. Yep, put the cam in. Okay. And then we're gonna <clears throat> put plenty, plenty of assembly lube on it. Nice and red to match the bike. Is that the reason why I got this one? <laughs> I think that's what we think. Just like a glove. I, I like the, um, they include the 12 point, like ARP style bolts or these. There's a lot of stuff that this kit comes with that other kits don't, right? Yeah, so, I mean, the race, this is the whole race series kit, so it comes with uh, all the race series parts that they offer, but also comes with a new crank bolt, new cam bolt, um, comes with the gorilla shaft, rocker shafts, it comes with the stud conversion. Uh, going from you know from the basic uh, nuts to studs. What I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to crank these down because then we got to check the uh, uh, <clears throat> check to see if uh, the straight edge to see if the gears are lined up to see if we got to shim the cam or anything. So we're measuring the gear alignment between the cam and the crank. And put a straight edge across and straight edge across, work off the crank gear. And then we can get loud. We can get Mike to stop making noise and then we can get a, <laughs> we can get a, a feeler gauge behind there to measure the, the distance. Um, when I put it in, we had over, uh, this gear was out forward over 20 thousandths. So so I put a larger shim. Much bigger shim. <laughs> We're gonna recheck it now. Check it again. 
<laughs> oh god. That's classic, man. This is gonna be great. This is a tool by Nine Finger Fabrication. It's a lifter bleeder tool. So basically we just drop the lifters in here and once they're in, we can submerge them in the oil. Perfect. Top back on. And what we'll do is we'll hook up a vacuum to the top valve here. They put a little tire valve on the top. Yeah. And as soon as I hook up vacuum to here, what it's gonna do is it's gonna draw the air out of the canister and essentially sucking the oh, oil, oil through the bleeder and or through the lifter and uh, you know making sure all the air is out of it. You can actually see the air. That that's pretty sick. Nine finger fabrication. Sucking out of there right now. It's pretty cool. That's awesome right there. Yep. So fueling doesn't um, make their own cuffs. So um, using the SNS cuffs that um, I had installed last time when we did the uh, Screaming Eagle cam in it. Um, these things are pretty good. I always recommend anyone to get these cuffs on there. We're replacing the uh, push rod tube O-rings. Not the last time, but every time I pull the push rod tubes, I always change O-rings. And oil rings, uh, solid push rods as well. When I do an adjustable, fueling only those solids. So these are the uh, solid push rods that fueling provides on their kit. Really nice stuff. Save your time adjusting. You prefer adjustables or, or solids? Depends on the application. Mike likes adjustables. It's it's not a preference. It's legitimate. It's not a preference. It's a matter of the can. The heel of the cam is really what determines that. So, hmm. a lot of cams have a stock base heel. Right. Turn this son of a bitch towards me. <laughs> a lot of cams have a stock base heel, which then you can use your standard push rods, which are crap. The solid ones coming from fueling or anybody else who makes them are just stronger and they have less of a chance of bending or causing a problem. But what it comes down to is it's a matter of what cam you have. So, if you have a really aggressive cam with a with a taller heel on it than, than stock, then you need adjustables in order to create the uh, the, the, the proper tension on the lifters that, that, that you need to do there. Otherwise, you're gonna hold your valves open all the time. Very good. Knowledge. Knowledge from the, from the tech. Tech tip. Mighty tech. Lube them all up. Uh -huh. Exhaust. They're marked exhaust and uh, okay, nice. tech. Okay, nice. Just drop them in. Nice. Open. Give me uh, an intake. Give you an intake. Give me yeah. some intake. Okay. Lube it all up, lube it all up. In the meantime, what are you working on over here? You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so a lot of stuff. He's, he's gonna tell everybody that you just work on Ducatis from now on. No, that's all my, it's the Honda guy. Oh, so now I'm the Ducati guy too? Yeah. Fueling has an updated uh, O-ring here. This O-ring doesn't pull, take up the entire gap. So what's happening, uh, according to fueling, is that these breathers in the tops are not sitting flush and uh, oil is then getting past the O-ring. So it comes with these ARP? ARP style 12 point uh, nuts. We put the shafts in, uh, I put the shafts in already. <clears throat> Replaces the, uh, old style 
uh, bolts that Harley uses on the shafts, on the yep. rocker shafts. That they want you to install behind the stock o-ring. So you can just get it in there and kind of move it down with a pick, get it into place. And then this o-ring now it won't dance in there. takes up the space and now it's nice and tight in here. Nice. And that's what? This is the breather that goes into the uh, in the top of the cylinder heads. Oil breather. Really thought about everything, man. These guys give me a shirt. They wrap it up in a three mile long black tape. Thanks a lot, Mike. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm, I'm still at it. I'm still trying to take this thing off. Michael, lunch is served. You bitch. <laughs> hey you, pull over. You want the sexy beer. Keep working. You're doing a great job. You're doing a great job, Mike. guys so pretty much done for now uh, we just got a tuner because right now it still has a screaming eagle tuner on it um, we're gonna be dropping a different tuner on it we're gonna put it on a dyno jet and we're gonna be adding this new air cleaner from Harley so we got a screaming eagle air cleaner right here though this is gonna make the bike look really nice and uh, give the bike a bit more air to breathe tomorrow is the uh, dyno tune session so We'll follow up with that as well. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If you guys are in the local area, do want to get some work done, hit up uh, to our custom cycles down below. I'm going to be linking up all the description. Hit up Mike. If you're in the New York or Jersey area, they'll take care of you guys. Happy with it. Sounds great. Those are the numbers. I said peace.